Before we can talk about designing voice user interfaces, we need to look at the expectations. Market Urban did a great summary in a podcast about conversational and voice user interface design, which you can watch on YouTube. Essentially, as humans, we are all used to voice. After all, we are using voice every day. You are listening to me right now. As such, each user of a voice user interface is an instant expert, or at least thinks he is. As such, the expectations on voice systems are really high. If your dialogue contains even a slight mistake, that will already make a bad experience. If a dialogue fails, it's more disappointing than if a website doesn't do what you expected it to do. You are less likely to try the voice interface again. That's something you can experience very often. If people don't understand an app or a badly designed website, they often search the error on themselves. They continue using it, they just learn the paths and clicks necessary to find what they want to do. However, if these users ask something from a smart speaker and the speaker doesn't understand the request, it's easier to believe that the speaker is stupid. Also, if your voice service makes an error, for example in grammar, that increases the cognitive load of users. When you design voice use interfaces, there are different levels of complexity. The first interfaces have been very simple question and answer style. For example, you say, Alexa, what's the weather today? And it will give you the information. The conversation ends. Same for Alexa, play music. That might not even require, require an answer. It will just execute your command. And each command stands for its own. When you're talking about true conversations, you need to remember the past and understand the context of the user and the conversation. Just imagine you're talking to a person who always forgets what you said after the answer. You wouldn't like talking to that person. To prevent this from happening in a voice user interface, you need to be very sensitive about conversational design. An important factor is to set expectations to avoid confusions beforehand. This even happens in human conversations from time to time. For example, you ask the user who dictated an email, do you want to send it or change it? And the answer is yes. Is it now sending or changing? It's not clear from the response, but responses like that can happen. Therefore, don't ask the question if you won't be able to understand the answer. Instead, be clearer about what responses you expect. Simply reformatting the query can be enough to prevent the dreaded yes answer. You could, for example, ask, what would you like me to do? Send it or change it? That makes it clearer that the user has two choices and needs to select either of them. The concept of giving choices is one of the fundamental flaws of pure voice user interfaces, the discoverability. Users have no idea what your skill can do. In a mobile app, you see all the buttons and menu items. You know what you could do and learn the application just by using and exploring it. In a voice user interface, that's much more difficult. Imagine a voice-based Adobe Photoshop image editing software. Just reading all the options the user has would take minutes. You couldn't even remember all of them. As such, your skill needs to be smarter by, for example, gradually introducing users to more and more functionalities.